everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Today is May 8th, the year of our source, 2018. And I only mention that because it's my birthday. It's on May 9th. I'm a bull. <laughs> I'm a bull. I'm a Taurus. And my birthday is tomorrow. And I'm excited about that. And it actually has caused me to do a lot of ruminating, which is to think in a room. I'm joking. <laughs> but a lot of thinking and self-observation just about myself and my health and all of this stuff. There's been a lot going on, which is some of the reason I've been a little bit quiet last week and I'm going to be a little quiet this week depending on how I feel. But I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. First, I wanted to make it a point to truly and deeply thank my patrons on Patreon, especially you new people who are just coming in. I want you to know that I consider you guys to be co-creators in this work, truly to be partners because it's through you and your support and obviously the support of everybody who holds space for me and who likes my videos, shares my videos, all of you guys, it's through you that I am able to do what I came to this planet to do. And Spirit has been showing me that we are about to somewhat massively up-level this community. We're going to up-level in 2019 and beyond. And the message that we're speaking of here, the message that's coming out of this space, and truly that is coming out of me as an instrument for Spirit, this message is going to be received on a much higher level. And so those of you who believe in me, those of you who help me, I just want to say thank you so much so much. You guys mean the world to me and you allow me to do the work that I came here to do. So mahalo to you for that. And in specific, mahalo to three new patrons. I just want to give a shout out. First being Crystal S. Thank you, girl, for believing in me. Elenique P. Thank you, my sister, for co-creating in this vision with me. You have a hand in everything it is that I do. Mahalo. Thank you. Last but not least, Jody M. Thank you so much, my sister, for supporting me, for believing in me, and for doing this work with me. And I can't let it go unsaid. Thank you to my old patrons. I say old. I've only been doing this for a month. I stopped running ads on my YouTube videos because if it annoys me, it probably annoys you as well. And I went to Patreon last month and I've received a lot of support and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys. Thank you. Whoever you are, every single dollar helps. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. ET phone home. You guys mean the world to me and are helping me in this work. Now what I want to do is talk about my birthday. Okay. May 9th. Crystal's a Taurus. And that is... It's an interesting birthday because I am turning five zero. I'm turning 50 years old. I can hardly believe it myself. I can hardly believe I'm turning 50 years old. But rather than many women who get all caught up and a little crazy when they turn 30 and then they turn 40 and then they turn 50 and 60 and so on and so forth, I'm like super excited about it. I consider myself to be timeless. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm timeless. I'm here. And I believe that life is what you make of it. I believe life is what you bring to it. And if you bring to it joy and verve and spunk and love and freshness, well, heck, that's the life you're going to live. And that's also the life that's going to be reflected in you, body, mind, and spirit. I believe that. Nonetheless, I also acknowledge that hitting this particular milestone, I have to be a little bit mindful of myself and taking care of myself, especially since the work is growing from here, especially since we've got projects and books and things happening in the work, in the ministry that are going to up level fairly shortly. I have to be able to do the work. Like that's my prayer. Like God, it's not about me rolling down the street in a Bentley. How you doing? I'm wearing my whatever, do, what is, I don't know, my Louboutins and my, I don't care about that. I'm wearing a man's shirt and I prefer it. This doesn't mean I don't have money. It just means I walk around in some overalls and a man's shirt because it's comfortable. I just want to be here enjoying my life. I don't want to be putting on airs. Everything I do is for the message of it all. Everything I do, I think about what's my goals. You know, we goal set, especially business owners, which I'm a business owner. I goal set, of course I do. 
But my goals are around how much can I do without burning myself out? How much can I give without tanking myself? How much can I create? What can I leave behind that's going to last? Those are my thoughts for myself. And I realize as we get older, you got to take into account what's happening in the physical body. And what worked for me in my 20s to sustain me, which was like coffee and starvation, it was terrible what we do to ourselves when we're young, (laughs) doesn't work for me anymore. Like, I can't do that. If I'm not eating by noon, I am a different person entirely. Like, I got to have food. I got to be feeding my body. But what worked for me even in my 40s, which was... 80 to 100% raw food diet. Like that's what I did and I loved it. I loved eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and raw cheeses. Like I love eating that to this day. It's my preferred way to eat. I thrived on that in my late 30s, early 40s. But now as I'm turning over, tick, to the big 5-0, I'm noticing it doesn't really work as well for me actually. And I need more and I need to be paying attention to myself. I really do. If it's nothing, if it's one thing that I say to you ceaselessly, it's to listen to your body. You have to be listening to what the body is saying to you. Your body is your most psychic tool and instrument and your body is always talking to you. And for those of us on this planet who are here to do something of importance, which is all of us, For those of us who are light workers, who are here to shift it, who are here to work with high energy, we have to be paying attention to what the body is telling us. And so as I was going through this period of stress in my life, moving, still doing that, selling the house, please angels of selling houses, I need you to sweep in and sell that house out in the country. Join with me as we claim that, yes, that house is going to sell. As we've been moving, selling, I've had programs going, I've got new programs coming. It's just been quite a lot. I've actually gotten up on YouTube, haven't I, in the last month. Voice all failing, all tired, no makeup, my hair all right. Well, set right now. (laughs) Hair all raggedy. But I was breaking down, but I was still continuing to go. And I was not listening to the messaging of my body. Well... I've begun to do that. This is why I've been quiet. This is probably why I'll be a little quiet this week. Not next week, most likely, but this week, maybe one or two videos because I'm trying to take care of myself. I was doing that raw diet. I was juicing. I was getting all my veggies in, but I was tanking, man. I couldn't get out of bed. I was so tired. I went to the doctor. I was very concerned about what was happening with me. And ultimately, long story long, I need to take an iron supplement. I need to eat meat, which I don't like. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like red meat that much. I don't don't really like red meat that much. So I have to find some solutions for myself, but I need more protein, like like bioavailable, assimilable protein that my body can actually use without grossing me out or making me feel bad about myself. I need to find a way to give myself the fuel source that I need. I, I'm sensitive to the body. I'm listening to the body. And see, as you get older, you can't you can't just turn a blind eye like we did when we were in our teens and were invincible, or in our 20s when we were on a diet of coffee and starvation and feeling invincible. That stuff starts to show up in your 30s. It starts to show up in your 40s, and it sure enough starts to show up in your 50s and later. What you sow in the early days is reaped later on. And so I'm trying to, at this point, counteract my years of eating disorders, just abusing myself, abusing my body, and I'm trying to listen now. I'm trying to listen now. And while listening, I'm also remaining so thankful, so grateful, not caught up in the tick-tock of time. I don't care. I do live in a timeless space, a space of spirit. I do live in a space where I am aligning to my divine nature, to the I am, which stands outside of 3D reality and 
exists within a timeless space in a place of creation and uncreation. Uncreation being that space that's just waiting. It's a womb of creation. What do you want to create, Crystal? That's where I spend my time. I don't spend time worrying about the number, but I do want to make sure that I am here to do what I came here to do. We all came here with a blueprint, with a map, and on this map, there are destinations and people and relationships and jobs and wellness and sickness and challenge and all of that. We came here to experience it, but we have to be supporting ourselves. We have to be giving ourselves what we truly need to do the work contained in that blueprint. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be thankful and grateful for you guys and also for myself. I'm going to be so thankful tomorrow that I'm still here and I'm going to recognize that I will never be as young as I am in this moment. I will never have as much time in front of me to utilize and to shine my life into and my light into than in this moment. Same with you. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 15. You could be 75. You will never be younger than you are right now. You will never have more possibility and potential in front of you than you do right now. I'm grateful for that. And so as this day ticks over till tomorrow, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. My husband's taking me away somewhere. I don't know what's happening. But whatever does happen, I'm going to spend it being grateful. And I want you guys to do that too. So that's my check-in with you. That's what I've been up to. That's why I've been quiet. That's what's going on with me. Thank you to everybody. I'm going to be much more active next week. I'll probably pop on later this week, but just thinking about you. How about that? I'm thinking about you and I love you.